listen to me. Don't have to all say amen at once. <laughs> so it is a it is a joy to again introduce dear friends, and um, and I and I say that with all honesty. Both these men, I. Turn on. There you go. Okay, so let's let's try that again. You got sound now? All right. So um, once again, it's my joy to get to introduce two good friends um, that I love. They're very precious to us. And uh, one of those is Arnufo Gallegos, our missionary to Acuna. Our church has been tied up with him now for about 30, 30 plus, somewhere 35, 36 36 years, and, um, and it's, it's a joy. We've been excited. He's done a great work for the Lord. He's doing a great work for the Lord. We're going to hear from him in just a moment. Uh, the other precious friend is Cliff Hawkins. You all know him uh, longer than I do, actually, and uh, we have, I don't know when we met exactly, somewhere around 92 or 3, I think, and uh, we, have, we have been uh, enjoying each other's company whenever we can. Uh, since then, I love both these men very, very dearly. They're precious to me, precious to our church, and we're grateful that Brother Cliff could come up because none of us can speak enough Spanish to translate. And we're really good, great, glad for that. Um, we, we got all sorts of things going on today. We're going to have the fellowship afterwards, so please stay. But Brother Cliff and Brother Nufo, as you come, Brother Cliff, would you take just a moment and kind of update us on the camp? We had the thing about what was coming up, but I also saw from Macedonian Missions what they're about to do. So if you just give us a quick update. If you don't know, Brother Cliff is on the Board of Trustees for our youth camp in Binger, and so we'll just have him give us a brief uh, update on that. And then Brother Nufo, you update us on the mission and then bring the message God has laid on your heart and we're just going to celebrate the Lord. So you brothers come and uh, we'll enjoy what God's going to do with you. It's good to be back here at Unity. For those of you that don't know me, I served as associate pastor here for, I think, about 16 years. So, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Had four and a half years in Clinton after that, and then Lord moved us to Monroe, Romero. But now in November, it's on my mind. Azul. I mean, blue. All right. I think, well, there we go. I've been, as I said, I was associate pastor here for 12 years, four and a half years of Clinton pastor there. Then the Lord moved us to Broken Arrow, and I had no idea why God moved us to Broken Arrow, but he did. I was talking to Karen, and God was through with us in Clinton about coming back home, which is Duncan. And she just mentioned, have you ever thought about going to Broken Arrow? We had family that was living there. <clears throat> I couldn't get that out of my mind. The Lord moved us there. really didn't understand why. But I think I do now. Ten years we've been there at Florence Street. And I am the chairman of our mission committee. I served as a missionary myself. Y'all were my sponsoring church when I was a missionary there in Acuna, Mexico, in the Calvary Mission. And so I thoroughly had that relationship with y'all. But now God's put me in a place where I'm having a blast. I used to be on the receiving end as a missionary. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Nothing can compare to be on the other end where I'm able to go out and help missionaries and, and be able to, to help them. And God's opened that opportunity. And you know, as you mentioned, I'm the trustee there at camp. Next time you go to camp, you probably will not recognize the camp. One goal that we have had there is that when you drive in the front <laughs> gate, is to be impressed with what you see. Up to this point, you were not. Things just weren't kept up like they need to be, but things are getting fixed up right now. We are getting all new showers. How many showers did y'all have before in each dorm? We had two. Now you'll have three brand new showers for each dorm. You'll also have, you never believe this, doors on the commodes, on the stalls. They've always had the sinks right in front of the, 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 the stalls, so there's no room for a door to open the commodes. We use curtains. It's kind of hard to knock on a curtain if the place is occupied. So not only we'll have that, but where the showers used to be 
there'll be brand new sinks, countertop with a sunk in sink there. So right now we have the stem walls poured to be on the back of each dorm. We have stem wall that's already been poured waiting for the roughing, rough plumbing to be put in. After that, the floor will be poured, getting ready for the first two weeks in May when Macedonian Mission Builders will show up. We've probably got 85 of them there to be able to completely build us brand new showers and remodel our bathroom. There will be a new air conditioner in every dorm. The old air conditioners were 20 years old. We had to move them <clears throat> to, to build the new showers. And we were encouraged not to put the old ones back because they used the R20. It was super expensive to get charged back. So we're going to brand new air, brand new air conditioners for each dorm. We were not expecting that. We had not budgeted for that. Our first estimate was about $72,000 just for the air conditioner. Right now, they're on site. Now, they're actually, the inside portion of that is being installed now. It's going to cost us about 48000 just for the air conditioner. So, so God, God's really been a blessing. We have the, uh, the residents, the camp manager's residence, Brother Steve. Uh, I cannot be able to get it. Uh, Devon, Steve Devon, who is the mayor of Beaver, by the way. He is our new camp manager. And we're trying to get the house. The house has had a lot of rough wear. Hadn't been uh, upgraded in quite a while, so we're having to do quite a bit of work there. <clears throat> Matter of fact, my, my, my church, Florence Street, we had some extra money set aside for mission construction, so we sent them $30,000 to do whatever needed to be done to the inside of that house. They're leaving their house in, in Binger to move into that house there in, in Cedar Hills, and I said, if y'all are doing that, we want this place to be looking nice and to be usable. Matter of fact, I told our church, I says, I want that house to be good enough for my wife or your wife to move into it. <coughs> not, not something we're going to slap together and say you'll have to deal with it. So remember us there at Cedar Hill when we get ready to do that. We are, we've got $23,000 so far raised or the 67 to buy new mattresses. Our goal is to replace all the mattresses. If we can only do half of those, I'll give you one guess which side gets the beds first. The ladies' side. Okay. So, so just pray for the camp. Pray for Brother Steve Devon, his wife Clarissa. And as I said, they're doing, they're working there almost every Saturday, but every other Saturday, the first or the second and the last Saturday of the month, they have work days there. I highly encourage you if you get a chance to go to, to the pancake uh, the fundraiser at Oakdale. Not only will you eat well, you'll be able to eat members of the <coughs> church, you'll be able to eat, meet with Steve Devon and his wife and have a good time and really help support <coughs> Oakdale Church because they are the sponsoring church in the town. So thank you very much. All right. And you don't have to translate that. ¿Ya termina? Yeah, I'm through now. I'm through. Ok. Antes que nada, gracias a todos ustedes por recibirme en esta mañana. First of all, I'd like to thank you for receiving me and allowing me to be here today. Veo algunas caras nuevas y otras no tanto. I see a few new faces and others that aren't, aren't new. Tenemos algunos años de conocernos ya. El hermano pastor decía, 36 años de que conoce, nos conocemos como misionero e iglesia. Yeah, it's been 36 years that we have had the relationship as missionary and sponsoring church. <coughs> Hubo un tiempo en que estuvimos uh, separados no por uh, falta de querer estar, de querer venir, sino porque la iglesia donde estaba pudo pagar a su pastor y ustedes estuvieron un tiempo, ¿verdad?, separados. O sea, estu estuvimos un tiempo separados por esa razón. Yeah, it, it's been a... a a while since I've been up here, a lot of things that have just, just caused us not to be able to be here together, but it's good to finally be up here with you again. En el dormir una vez más, tuvimos oportunidad de encontrarnos. Back in 2000, those meters. En el 2000. In the year 2000. Sí. A la fecha, estamos trabajando juntos desde el 2000, primero en la Iglesia del Calvario, ahora en la Misión Bautista Unidad. Starting the year 2000, I started working as a missionary there in the Calvary Mission in Acuna, Mexico, and now working with the Unity Mission also in Acuna. <coughs> Algunas cosas han cambiado. A few things have changed. Ya estoy más viejo. I'm a little older. <laughs> ya no puedo correr, ni brincar, ni hacer muchas cosas. I can't run and jump and do a lot of things like I used to could. Pienso más para viajar. I have to think about it more to travel. Mi esposa se preocupa para, porque viajo solo. My wife is worried about me traveling by driving by myself. Pero doy gracias a Dios de que todavía podemos vernos aquí. 
but I am thankful to the Lord that I'm able to be here and see you here this morning. Eh, agradezco a Dios por mi hermano Clifford, que ha envejecido junto conmigo. I am also thankful for Brother Cliff, who's also gotten old like me. Sí. <laughs> Él es mi portavoz de hace muchos años. He's been translating for me for many years. Nos conocimos cuando éramos niños. We knew each other when we were much, much younger. Y ya ahora sí nos hicimos viejos. And now we've gotten old together. Cuando estamos en el carro y queremos bajar del carro, ya nos ayudamos uno, uno al otro. When we are traveling in the car, we have to kind of help each other get out of the car. <laughs> es bueno verlos hoy. Good to see you today. Este año pasado, el 2023, Dios nos ha dado bendición en la misión. In this last year, 2023, God has blessed us there in the Unity Mission. Eh, tuvimos uh, 20, eh, 12 bautismos. We were able to baptize 12 here recently. Eh, se agregaron cuatro personas por testimonio. And then we had four that had joined our church by their, by their testimony. <coughs> Pero tanto allá como aquí, la obra de Dios no es fácil. There in Acuna, just like here, the work of a church is not easy. La gente viene y va. The people come and go. Algunos se quedan. Some stay. Otros no. Some don't. Pero aquí lo importante es seguir predicando el Evangelio. But the most important thing is to continue preaching the gospel. Esta es la razón por la que estamos aquí hoy. That's the reason that we're here today. <coughs> porque estoy muy agradecido con Dios por esta iglesia I am very thankful for this church porque ha sido fiel so you have been faithful ha sido fiel para trabajar en la obra been faithful for working in, in the gospel y a pesar de que han venido e ido pastores ustedes se mantienen trabajando pastors have come and gone from this church but you have continued forward in your life and mission Agradezco mucho el trabajo del hermano McAllister, su familia, el amor que tiene para con nosotros. I appreciate Brother McAllister and his family for the love they have for us. Tenemos muchas cosas en común. We have many things in common. También somos viejos. We're also old together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eh, el plan en la misión es seguir trabajando. Hemos logrado en construcción uh, poder en condiciones lo que teníamos. We are working in, on fixing up our building and, and closing in some walls. Enviamos algunas fotografías en, durante estos meses y años a nuestros hermanos para que vean el avance de lo que se está haciendo allá. We have been sending out pictures of what we have been able to accomplish there in the construction of our building. Ahorita estamos uh, en el plan de construir o de terminar un techo para clases para los niños en la parte de atrás del terreno. We are right now ready to try to put a roof over the back portion of our property to have a class for our Sunday school. Ya se hizo la primera parte. We have done, taken care of the first part of that. Y estamos uh, reuniendo uh, los fondos suficientes para construir la otra parte. And we're trying to collect the sufficient funds to, to finish the second part of our building. Yo quiero aquí notar algo que es muy importante. I want to be able to speak about something here that's very important. En uh, el trabajo que Dios me ha dado, tengo un apoyo muy grande. In the work that God has given me, I've had a lot of help. Aparte de ustedes como iglesia, mi esposa ha sido un soporte muy importante. Not only the help that you've given me in my sponsoring church, but also my wife and the support she gives me. Ella no puede caminar ahora. She, Sister Norma cannot walk very well today. Uh, se le dificulta mucho para estar en el templo. It's very difficult for her to, to be there in, in, at church doing what she needs to do. Pero desde la casa siempre está pensando qué hacer. But from the house she's always thinking about what she can do. Y me pone a trabajar a mí. And she tells me to do it. Sí. <laughs> y eh, ella ha estado comprando algunas cosas y vendiéndolas Haciendo algunas cosas y vendiéndolas para reunir fondos aparte de las ofrendas she para has, este propósito. She has been making things and selling things, trying to raise money for different projects that we have there in the mission. Siempre ha sido así. That's the way she's always been. Y ojalá siga. Oh, and hopefully she'll continue. Aunque a mí me canse. <laughs> Even though it wears me out. <laughs> eh, el plan un poquito más futuro es tener un templo donde podamos tener más comodidad o más amplitud. 
sistema de las demás casas. Our, our plans for the future is to be able to enlarge our, our current building to have room for more people. Ahorita tenemos un templo de 380 metros por 7 metros de largo. No sé cuántos sean. Our building is 3 meters wide, 3 by 7 meters. You can do 3 point, you know, 3 feet, 3 inches. What is that number? Es pequeño. It's a small building. Pero uh, ahorita es suficiente. But for right now it's been sufficient. Tenemos planes de crecer con la ayuda de Dios. Our plans are with God's help to be able to grow. Y es ahí cuando vamos a necesitar. De hecho, cuando están todos los hermanos, eh, sí vemos la necesidad de otro lugar más grande. And on rare occasions, when everyone decides to attend church at the same time, we see that we do need a little room to expand. Oramos a Dios por eso. We're praying to God about this. Es uh, uh, un breve informe de lo que estamos haciendo en Acuña. Just a brief report of what we're doing there in Acuña. Es difícil... Uh, por la situación geográfica en la que nos encontramos. La gente viene y va. The, the come and go. Algunos pasan para este lado, otros regresan a su tierra. Por eso se dificulta tener mucha más estabilidad como iglesia en ese lugar. Pero confiamos en que Dios hará lo suyo para que podamos crecer en el, eh, ahí en la cuña. <coughs> Sigan orando por nosotros. Can, y esperamos eh, poder seguir viéndonos por aquí en lo futuro. Hacía cuatro años que no tenía la oportunidad de verlos. Primero por uh, la pandemia. First of all, because of the pandemic. Después porque no tenía la visa hasta el año pasado, en mayo, pude una vez más tener la visa y ahora podemos estar acá. Another reason was that I did not have my visa yet, but I was able to get it last May. <coughs> Gracias otra vez, ma otra vez por recibirme. Gracias, hermano pastor, por todo su apoyo. Thank you for allowing me to be here and thank you, brother pastor, for your help. Ok, ahora vamos a lo que realmente nos interesa. Now we're going to get to what you're really interested in. Vamos a ir a la Biblia. To, let's open our Bible. Esto es muy importante. Lo que vamos a hablar el día de hoy toca un asunto que es trascendental o de mucha importancia para cada persona que tiene a Cristo en su corazón. What I want to speak to you about is very important for everyone that has Jesus Christ as their Savior. Vamos a buscar en el Evangelio según San Juan, en el capítulo 10. Go to John chapter 10. <coughs> Tengo un problema. What, what's the problem? <coughs> Antes teníamos un púlpito de madera y podía cubrirme. He said before they had the big pulpit here that could hide him. Ahora no, van a ver mis pies que están temblando un poquito. Now, now they're going to see his knees that are shaking. <laughs> Out of nerves. Algunas cosas han cambiado. A few things have changed. Sí, cuando anoche hablaba el hermano Clifford con el hermano Pastor, decía que el requisito para estar en esta mañana era venir en mezclilla. Y no tenemos mezclilla, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Algunas cosas cambian, las costumbres a veces son difíciles de dejar, pero aquí lo que realmente importa es lo que está dentro. Many times customs change and it's hard to get used to new things, but what's really important is what's on the inside. El corazón es lo importante. The heart's the important thing. Ciertamente la apariencia muchas veces dice mucho de la persona. Many times your outward appearance does say a lot about you. Pero no me hace más cristiano, ni menos cristiano, el venir con corbata o con traje a venir con mezclilla. But it doesn't make me more of a Christian or less of a Christian to come with suit and tie or without a suit and tie. Porque lo importante es la adoración a nuestro Dios. Leemos la escritura y luego entramos en el mensaje. Right. Solamente el versículo 10. John chapter 10, <coughs> verse 10. It says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Oremos. Let's pray. <coughs> Buen Padre Celestial que estás en el cielo. 
Te damos muchas gracias, bendito Dios, en esta mañana, porque tú nos das el privilegio, Señor, y la oportunidad de estar en este lugar para compartir tu palabra. Te doy gracias por esta iglesia, te doy gracias por cada uno de mis hermanos. Padre, agradezco por mi hermano Hawkins también, que tiene disposición, Señor, para poder estar aquí y hacer posible la comunicación con mis hermanos, Padre. <coughs> Suplico que bendigas tu palabra, Señor, que la lleves al corazón de cada uno de los presentes y, Señor, que esta palabra, Señor, produzca en la vida de cada uno de nosotros, Señor, lo que tú quieres. Te ruego, Dios, que bendigas a la misión Unidad en Acuña, a mi familia también, Señor, cuida de ellos. Padre, una vez más, te agradezco por este tiempo, en el nombre precioso de Cristo Jesús. Amén. Amen. I will not translate his prayer because the one he was talking to understood every word. <laughs> La palabra misionero. ¿Es el mes misionero? ¿Aquí? Okay. ¿Es el mes? Is this missions month? Sí. La palabra misionero sabemos que no viene en la escritura. The, the actual term mission or missionary really is, is not, you don't find a lot in the scripture. Tampoco la palabra misión. Neither the word mission. Pero tampoco viene la palabra trinidad. But you also don't find the word, actual word trinity either in the Bible. Sin embargo, el concepto está ahí. But the concept and the teaching of the trinity is definitely there. Teaching of missions is definitely there. Si ustedes tienen cuidado y van al Evangelio según San Mateo en la Gran Comisión, van a encontrar ahí la esencia de la palabra. De tal forma entonces que cuando Jesús comisiona a su iglesia para llevar el mensaje del Evangelio, When the Lord commissions his church to preach the gospel, está dándoles una encomienda, un mandato. He's given us a mandate. Y los está transformando en mensajeros o misioneros. And he's, he's, he's he changes us into messengers or missionaries. ¿Quién de ustedes me dice el nombre de esta iglesia? Which of you can tell me the name of this church? No todos, solo uno. No más one. Unity Missionary Baptist Church. En español, Iglesia Bautista Misionera Unidad. Esa palabra misionera nos habla de que tenemos bien clara la, um, el, la comisión o lo que tenemos que hacer como cristianos. Cuando tuve aquel primer encuentro con esta iglesia, en el año del 88, si quieren les digo en inglés. <risa> oh, ok. You may wonder how I did that so easily. That's my job at Metro Christian Academy. <laughs> Anything they do in the auditorium, <laughs> AV wise, that's what I do. Cuando tuve aquel primer encuentro con esta iglesia en el año del 88, when I had my first encounter here with this church in 1984. Yo no entendía todavía muy bien el concepto misionero. I understood the concept of missionary. Tenía poco tiempo trabajando como pastor en la ciudad de Monterrey. I it was just a little while being working as serving as pastor of a Calvary church in Monterrey. En ese entonces yo trabajaba en los camiones, en la pintura, en la albañilería, en la carpintería, en lo que saliera. I worked different jobs as a truck driver, carpentry, anything I could do to be able to make money. Y un hombre me dijo, ¿quieres que te apoyemos para que trabajes de, al 100% en la obra? 
one day I was told that hey we want to be able to help you so you can dedicate 100% of your time to the to your church. Yo puedo hablar con la iglesia, hay una iglesia que puede apoyarte. I know of a church that can help me. Este hombre está aquí al lado mío. One that told, told me that is right here up by my side. Era un muchacho entonces. Uh, he was a young young man at that time. <laughs> la palabra misionero, ¿qué tan importante es? How important is that word missionary? Sin misioneros, no hay misiones. Without missionaries, there'd be no missions, no mission work. No hay oportunidad para mucha gente que se está perdiendo. There would not be that opportunity for many people that are lost and going to hell. Yo no quiero ser siempre un misionero. I don't always want to be a missionary only. Yo quiero ser alguien que pueda enviar a otro misionero para que hable con las gentes de Cristo. I want to be a pastor that can to have a church that will send out other missionaries to preach the gospel. Ese es el plan. That's our plan. Ustedes sembraron la semilla en mí. You have planted that seed in me. Pero Dios ha dado el crecimiento y el deseo de querer que otros ocupen el lugar que ahora tenemos nosotros. God has given the growth and the increase and the desire to go out and to help others. Hice un cambio en el mensaje. Been a little change here in the message. Engañé al hermano Clifford. I'm tricking Brother Cliff. <laughs> Comencé al final del mensaje hoy. I start at the very end of my message. Con la conclusión. With the conclusion. La conclusión dice, tú también puedes da- ser parte de esta tarea. The conclusion, my conclusion would, will tell you that you can have part of, you can be part of this work. De hecho han sido parte de ustedes. This work is, is, is of you. Dice la Biblia donde leímos en el versículo 10. El ladrón no viene sino para hurtar y matar y destruir. Y me llama la atención la siguiente parte. Yo he venido para que tengan vida. It's very important to talk about and understand the thief does come but to steal, kill and destroy. But listen to the last part of verse 10 that we just read. It says, and I have come that they might have it more abundantly. Hemos pensado mucho en la gente que se ocupa en llevar el Evangelio. A lot of those that, that carry the en muchas ocasiones incluso le damos más importancia a esas personas que van y llevan el mensaje que al mismo que lo envió. En esta mañana quiero notar al más grande. This morning, I want to talk about the most important. Si ustedes quieren un título para el mensaje, pónganle así, el más grande. If you want a title for this, for this message, it would be the most important. Tenemos hoy en esta mañana las palabras del Señor Jesús, que yo quiero que se queden grabados en nuestros corazones. We have this morning the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that we need to have burned into our hearts. Yo he venido para que tengan vida. I have come that they might have life. Vamos a hablar entonces hoy de aquellas personas interesadas en extender el Evangelio y enseñar la palabra y voluntad de Dios en un mundo que cada vez más se aparta de Dios. Hubo un tiempo en que la palabra de Dios no se escuchaba. En un tiempo en que la palabra de Dios no se escuchaba. Pasaron 430 años sin revelación. There was a time that there was not any word from God for about over 400 years. Seguían costumbres, seguían religión. The, the, the customs continued, the religion continued. Pero un buen día, Dios envió a el más grande. But then, God had sent the one who was the most important. Ese más grande vino a traer el mensaje directamente del cielo. This most important one came to bring the gospel about. Este mensaje todavía resuena a través de los siglos. And this message is still going forth throughout the ages. El apóstol Pablo alguna vez dijo que seamos imitadores de él, así como es imitador él de Cristo. The apostle Paul has encouraged us to be imitators of him as he imitates Christ. Y vaya que el apóstol Pablo es el más grande de los misioneros de acuerdo a la escritura. I, I would consider Paul to be one of the greatest missionaries according to the scriptures. Otra vez la cita. Yo he venido para que tengan vida. 
I have come that they might have life. El más grande de los misioneros. More, more important. El más grande de los mensajeros. More important than those messengers. Él está interesado en nuestras almas. He is interested in our souls. Está interesado en las almas que se pierden. He is interested in, the, in those souls that are that are lost. Él quiere Christ. que el mundo sea salvo. He wants the world to be saved. Él quiere que ninguno perezca. He wants no one to perish. Y hermanos, quiero decirles algo en esta mañana. I want to tell you something this morning, my brethren. Ustedes son parte de ello. And you are a great part of that. Ustedes están haciendo su parte, su tarea, su trabajo. You are doing your part, your work. Sigan haciéndolo. Keep doing it. Keep going on. Dios merece toda nuestra atención. God deserves all of our focus. Él descendió para rescatarnos y darnos luz. He came down to this earth to save us, to rescue us and give us light. Descendió, descendió para darnos la oportunidad de ser parte de algo grande. He came down to this world to make us part of something greater than we are. Ya pasaron los años y alguna vez platicando con mi esposa hacemos un recuento de la vida y decimos ya tenemos 40 años juntos. There have been times my wife sit down and we just remembering things about our life and we say we've really been married 40 years. Yo volteo, 40 años. I looked at her and said 40? Pero tenemos el gusto de saber que caminamos de la mano con Dios. But we have the joy of knowing we walk hand in hand in the joy of our Lord. Cuando caminamos de la mano con Dios, todo es tranquilidad, todo es paz, todo es confianza. When we're walking there in, in, in fellowship with God, everything is peace. Les digo a mis hermanos en la misión, cuando ellos quieren desmayar, quieren desanimarse, les digo, necesitan levantarse ustedes para que su familia pueda también creer en Cristo. When my members of the Unity Mission, whenever they get discouraged and just don't want to continue on, I, I try to remind them that you need to continue on the gospel so that even your own family members can be Ustedes saved. son la oportunidad que ellos tienen. You are the opportunity that they have. No hay otra oportunidad. They may not have another opportunity. Ciertamente tenemos hoy en esta mañana, estamos hablando del más grande. We're talking about the most important this morning. Dice la palabra de nuestro Dios en Juan 6.40. Y esta es la voluntad del que me ha enviado. Yo quiero notar esto. Esta es la voluntad del que me ha enviado. Cristo fue enviado por el Padre para traer un mensaje nuevo. John chapter 6 verse 40. And this is the will of him that sent me. I want to emphasize the first part of this verse. It is Jesus saying it is God's will who has sent me. Este mensaje resuena a través de los siglos. It, this message has continued on throughout the ages. Cristo fue a la cruz por nosotros. Jesus went to the cross for us. Él pagó por el pecado de todos. He paid for our sin. Su mensaje sigue hasta nuestros días. His message continues on even in our day. Él inyectó en nosotros este mensaje. Él puso en nosotros este mensaje. He put that message within us to give it out. Nos hizo misioneros. He made us missionaries. Tú y yo, hermano, tenemos una tarea muy grande para llevar a cabo. You and I have a great work to continue on. No te rindas. Don't give up. No digas no a la voluntad de Dios. Don't say no to God's will in your life. Al contrario, renueva tus fuerzas todos los días, todas las mañanas, descansando en que Dios camina junto contigo. Just remember to always give, look for God's will in your life, continuing on and resting in his promises. Yo le hacía una pregunta al pastor hace un momento allá, allá en la puerta de atrás. I asked our pastor a question a little while ago. ¿Por qué me interesa? Because I was interested. Porque son parte mía. Because you're, you're part of me. ¿Cómo está la iglesia? I ask, how's the church doing? Y el pastor con una sonrisa me decía, estamos bien. With a smile on his face, he says, we are doing well. Estamos felices. We're happy. Nuestra actitud es buena. We have a great attitude. Y esa actitud inyecta a otros para que puedan venir a Cristo. And this attitude can affect others that they may encourage them to come to Christ. De una forma inconsciente, si usted quiere, estamos nosotros influyendo para que otros conozcan de Cristo. We are the influence that others may use to come to know Christ. Dice la Escritura aquí otra vez. 
Y esta es la voluntad del que me ha enviado. Here in John 6, 40, it says, and this is the will of him that sent me. Yo quiero que esa voluntad de Dios esté presente en mí siempre. I want this will to be always present in my life. ¿Tú la quieres? Do you want it? Yo la quiero. I es want it. mi deseo. Todas las mañanas me levanto deseando hacer algo, crecer más, avanzar más, madurar más, porque todavía soy pequeño y necesito crecer en la vida cristiana todos los días. It is my desire to wake up every morning wanting to be able to do more because I just know I've done so little of what I could have done for the Lord. Vine a Cristo hace muchos años. I came to know Christ many years ago. Algunos de los que están aquí ni habían nacido siquiera. Many of you are, are, are witness of that. Pero Dios ha sido bueno. But God has always been good. Y Él quiere ser bueno contigo también. And he wants to be good to you and for you. Él es fiel. He's faithful. Él vino hasta a esta tierra para traer un mensaje. He came here to this earth to bring us a message. Él es el primer mensajero, si, quiere, si queremos llamarlo entre comillas, con ese nombre. He is the first missionary that was here, if you want to say, bringing the gospel. ¿Y sabe qué? Dice la Escritura que dejó a la iglesia aquí para que continuara con su labor. And Scripture tells us that he left his church here to continue in that work. Nosotros somos el cuerpo de Cristo. We are part, we are, we are the body of Christ. Y digo nosotros, porque en ocasiones hacemos diferencia. Digo, a lo mejor yo en, en mi mentalidad, a veces hacemos diferencia. Many times in the way we think we're different. La Iglesia Unidad y la misión en Acuña. Like Unity Church and Unity Mission there in Acuña. Pero la verdad es que somos una iglesia. But in reality we are a church. Yo soy de ustedes. Y ustedes son, de, son míos. I am of you and you are of me. De tal manera que entonces podemos caminar juntos para poder seguir transmitiendo el mensaje de este mensajero, del más grande. That way we can continue forward preaching the gospel as, as much as we can. El único mensaje, de acuerdo a la Escritura, Juan 5, 24, dice, El que oye mi palabra, y otra vez dice aquí, y cree al que me ha enviado. The main message here we find in John 24 of Jesus. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that has sent me. El que oye mi palabra y cree al que me ha enviado, este tiene vida eterna. He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me will have everlasting life. ¿Y cuál es el propósito de tener esta vida eterna? What is the purpose of having this eternal life? Y muchos pensamos, bueno, para ir al cielo. Many say, well, be able to go to heaven. Pero eso no es todo. That's not all. Yo quiero tener la vida eterna, sí. I want to have eternal life, yes. Pero quiero compartirla. But I want to be able to share it. No ser egoísta. Not, not be self-centered. Estar pensando en los demás. Thinking of others. Así como Cristo pensó en mí. Just as Jesus thought about me. De tal manera entonces, que es nuestro trabajo, es nuestra tarea, como cristianos, decirle al mundo, que Jesús está interesado en ellos. It is our job, our responsibility to be able to tell others that Jesus is interested in them. Ustedes lo están haciendo bien. You're doing well. Sigan así. Keep it up. Manténganse fieles, sirvan al Señor, hagan lo que les toca y en su momento Dios nos va a dar la satisfacción para nosotros estar contentos con lo que hacemos para Dios. Continue your faithfulness to God and one of these days you'll be, have the satisfaction that God gives us with the work that we're doing for Him. ¿Para quién es este mensaje? Who is this message for? Ese mensaje era para mí. This message was for me. Gracias a Dios por esta iglesia. I thank the Lord for this church. Porque gracias a esta iglesia usted que estaba en esta mañana aquí, creyó en Cristo. I'm thankful for this church and I'm thankful for those of you that are here that believe in Christ. Gracias a que hubo un hermano misionero que estuvo interesado en esta ciudad. I am thankful for the, for the one that came here as a missionary to be able to start a, a work like this, a church like this. Y ahora ustedes pueden gozar de lo que él quería inyectarles o poner en su corazón en aquel tiempo. You can, you can have joy in knowing what was the original intent of the, of the missionary that started this church. Había un hombre que se sentaba por ahí. 
There was an individual that would sit in that area. Siempre lo veía yo con una sonrisa. I always saw a smile on his face. Y venía y me saludaba y me abrazaba. He came, shook my hand, always gave me a hug. ¿Cómo está, hermano Arnulfo? How are you, brother Arnulfo? Yo no sé si usted lo recuerda al hermano Lou Felter. I don't know if you remember the Felter. O al hermano Smith. Or brother Smith. Hombres que estuvieron listos para decirle al mundo lo que Cristo significaba para ellos. Men who were always ready and willing to, to, to testify what Christ meant to them. Ojalá que un día podamos ¿verdad? nosotros ser recordados por lo que hacemos para Cristo también. It is my joy, my pleasure, my desire that many of us can be remembered also in the way of how we were able to, to share the gospel. Ellos ya cumplieron con su trabajo. They, they finished their work. Pero nosotros tenemos tarea. But we have our own work to do. Hagamos lo mejor para Cristo. Let's do our best for Christ. Para el más grande. The most important. Dios les bendiga en esta mañana. God bless you. Amen. Repeat. We had a last minute change so we don't have music so we're going to just do this kind of quiet so we stand to our feet if you